You are like the king. You totally rock. You helped me divorce my wife a few years back, and thank you for all your work. You are my god. I used to get pissed off at first, and then I started really listening to what you say. Women can learn from this show to how to treat a man right. They're like, hey, if you've got a problem with me, I'll sleep with you. It's like unwritten law. They're hookers. What if I think your screener is really rude? Well, uh, then good. I'm glad to hear he's doing his job. Good work there, Snuggles. Why not talk about diamond rings? If you get paid for it, what the hell? Be- you because I pride myself in when I read a commercial, the advertiser gets results. Wow, you care about other people. No, I don't. The only people I care about are the people I serve, which are the advertisers. Oh, I thought you were coming across as a nice guy. No, I'm not a nice guy. I'm in this business to make as much money as I can in as short a period of time as I can do it. What if you offer to hold a purse? Once you let a woman take away your balls, uh, she'll start doing other things to you. I, I think there are certain situations where you can squeak by and make an exception. What if she asks you to wear a dress? It depends on what shade it was. Right now, me and my boyfriend have an open relationship. And he has sex with other people? No. What do you mean an open relationship? No, 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 no. no that I don't know. I, I don't know if he's had. He says he hasn't, but... I hope he knows what you mean by an open relationship, because if someone told me I had an open relationship, <laughs> I'd be out tonight. Should we be honoring people with awards and stuff for having, like, 14, 15, 16 kids? Should we be doing that? That would be the same as giving me an award for uh, how many women I've banged. I mean, why not? What, what, what's next? The Will Chamberlain Memorial Award. I, w- I want the award. I'm very sexy, what's voluptuous this? woman. So so fat? I'm not fat. I'm big bone. You weigh how much? I'm 215. 215. Dear, that's not big bone. But you have very fat bones. I know there's a bunch of guys that really bust their rump day in. And it doesn't matter how much they bust their rump. They obviously don't have something the bands that are selling their records have. By the way, I see them in L.A. all the time, because every time I go to Ralph's and they say paper or plastic, I'm looking at another failed musician. I'd love to be driving by the Roxy and see a band called Paper or Plastic on the marquee. I've had sort of a window relationship with the girl next door, actually. It was an enjoyable experience, and we both continued to uh, have our nightly window sessions. So, so what do you think? I'd love to live in your neighborhood, I'll tell you what. I think you're kind of like Kurt Cobain yourself, you know what I mean? How so? Well, you're influencing a whole bunch of guys, you know, you're not exactly looked upon as, you know, well-respected guy. Not like at all. Uh, no one has any respect for me except my followers. Are you going to prom with me? I, you know, I would not go to the prom unless I knew that, uh, that I was going to get something at the end of the evening. If it's for prom, I mean... You would give it up to me? Yes, well, I don't believe you. I think you'll tell me that now to get me to come, and then once I show up, you'll find a way to worm your way out of it. No, just... You're the biggest attention whore who's called in all day. You, uh, you're not no, serious. What, you don't believe me? No. You think I'm a whore? Uh, I, no, I, I think you're a wannabe whore. I don't think you're an actual whore. Prom. Come on. I don't think I'm going to the prom here. You go, you go be an a-hole somewhere else now, okay? What? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. From Los Angeles, it's Flash Friday. Flash Friday has begun. And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. one 800 Five eight hundred eight six six. It's Flash Friday, God damn it! The first Flash Friday of two thousand four. How exciting is this? There are people who wait for Flash Friday. They 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 hang on by their thumbs for for Flash Friday to return. There are people who, uh, after Flash Friday ends, they're begging us, please, please don't stop, please keep doing it, and we don't because I. Uh, I don't want to see uh, people trying to flash in the dark. What's the point? You're not going to see a lot of what they're doing anyway. You know what I'm saying. 
But uh, Daylight Savings Time is with us again, and so is Flash Friday. And for those of you new to Flash Friday, I, I don't think we've had Flash Friday in Baltimore yet. So for those of us um, who have uh, never uh, experienced Flash Friday, never played the game, uh, here's how it works. Uh, everybody who listens to the Tom Likas show shows their loyalty by turning on their headlights. It's that simple. You turn on your headlights. That way, when you look around on the freeways, highways, expressways, parkways, boulevards, streets, avenues, parking lots, you name it, when you look around, you can see who all the Tom Likas show listeners are. You can see who subscribes to the 101 philosophy. You can see who the uh, people are out there who, um, well, they have it together just like you. Okay? And just like all the Jim Jones followers. You just When you see the Kool-Aid, you knew where they were. It's kind of like that. So we're uh, telling you to turn the headlights on right now. Turn them on right now. Turn them on. And the reward for you, and that's where the... Uh, the gals in the audience come in. The reward for you is, uh, ladies, when you see a guy with his headlights on, show him what you got. Whip him out. You show him your rack. That's what you do. Hang him out the window. Pop out of the sunroof. Sit in the flatbed of the El Camino, whatever, and show these guys what you got. You just show them your rack. It's that simple. Very easy. Very exciting. God damn it, I wish I was on the freeway today. Instead, I have to sit in here. Sit in here doing the show, because I don't get to see what's out there on the freeways. You get to see it. I don't get to see it. That's how it works. But uh, that's why uh, you are the uh, you are the customer, and I am your servant. That's how it works. So anyway, uh, boys, turn the headlights on, ladies. Show them what you got. Show your rack to the guys with the headlights on. It's that simple. And, of course, we ask you to call in and give us your uh, G-rated report on what you're seeing out there. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're out on the highway and you see a nice pair of knockers, uh, just uh, give us a ring here. Toll free at 1-800-5800-TOP. 1-800-5800-866. Be one of the first to report. We'd love to hear from you out there if you're uh, getting flashed out on the freeways or anywhere else. We'd like to know about it. It's that simple. And, of course, on the Tom Like Show on this Friday, uh, it's wide open telephones where anything goes, anything at all. You can talk about anything that's on your mind. It could be anything we discussed on the air this week, anything you think we should have talked about. You can call up, yell, scream, complain, jump up and down. It's all fair game, as long as you're absolutely fascinating. If you're not, uh, Dean J. D'Amelio, our screener, bouncer, whatever, will hang up on your ass before I ever get a chance to talk to you. By the way, um, I also want to uh, make a special dedication of this Flash Friday. So uh, I, uh, I have a specific goal in mind. Uh, personally, I, I would like to see this Flash Friday dedicated, and that's why I want you to put a little extra effort in uh, the, to, to this evening's Flash Friday, uh, the first one of the season. Um, this is going to be our protest against the federal government trying to control what you hear on the radio and see on television. This is us... Flipping our collective middle finger at the federal government. That's what we're doing. I see this as uh, not only fun and scintillating out there, but uh, a form of protest. So uh, we'll see how many breasts we see out there on the highways today. How many racks will be shown. How many reports we will get. Wide open telephones at the Tom Likas Show, toll free here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Anything can happen, and hopefully it will. Dazzle me, baby. Tom. Tom. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 866. Hey, Tom, you know how you're telling us 3 o'clock in L.A.? No. Everybody has their uh, lights on. It's Flash Friday. <laughs> On the Tom Likas Show. Out on 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephone call this first. Flash Friday, 2004. 1-800-5800-TOM is the telephone number here. D on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, D. Is your last name Cup? <laughs> well, I do have a D cup. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> I'm a first-time caller, long-time listener. I, there must be people with the last name, you know, C-U-P-P. -P so wouldn't that be a, just a really cruel thing to do to name oh, your daughter Dolores or <laughs> Dorothy? 
<laughs> so we're like, you know, I have listened to you for years, and I think you're awesome. Thank you. And I have taken your advice because my husband would not have sex with me, so I left him. Really? And I'm on it every single day, Tom. I, are you happy now? Oh, my God, yes. You're much happier now that oh, you left like, him. It took me so long to do it, but I'm just in heaven right now. You're getting laid all the time. <laughs> I was strong enough to finally do it. Wow. And you helped me along, Tom. Oh, that's good. Now, how did he yeah. react when you told him that you were leaving him for that reason? Um, he knew. He knew? Yeah, because he knew. I, we'd fight about it all the time, and he knew I needed more than that, and I just said I can't take it anymore. So he didn't fight you or say, please stay. No. Mm -mm. Oh, I mean, a little bit. But he I was relieved that you left. Probably, because I'd probably drive him nuts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, when did the sex start falling off? Well, you know, Tom, this is really bad, is it wasn't really there from the beginning, so I was totally stupid. Oh, boy. Yeah. It was never that good. No, it was good when I had it. It was good when you had it, but you never had it that often. Right. And his reason for not, well, he just has no sex drive, but what reason did he give you? Oh, because he owned his own business. He was stressed out oh. or, you know, a million reasons. Doesn't feel good, too tired, we'll do it tomorrow, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right, and then yeah. tomorrow never came. Right. Uh-huh. Right. And uh -huh. also... On the flash I'm thinking it, but I didn't say it. Thank you. Go ahead. What? No. Oh, the Flash Friday segment? No, no, something else. Go ahead. Oh, for real. Um, I said I tomorrow I... never came. Right. Exactly, it didn't come. <laughs> uh, my friends and I, we don't only flash, and we don't just flash listeners. You don't have to have your headlights on. It doesn't have to be in a car. We, we call it a Friday sandwich. We smash our boobs against the window. You do? Yes, we'll do it at a restaurant while people are having dinner. Really? Or I was just in Vegas last two weekends ago, and a, these nerdy guys pulled up in a right. car. They were valeting their car. We ran up and smushed our boobs against the window. Really? And they took another round, and they were all excited. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, now, do you, do you also participate in Flash Friday? Well, of course, yes. You do? But no, I smash, so I don't just flash. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So yeah. it's Smash Friday for you. Yeah, yeah. Friday sandwich. Do you get smashed oh. first and then smash them? No, we have to be smashed. I see. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. So, do you see any headlights out there yet, Dee? Um, you know, not yet. I'm really stuck in traffic so bad. We're not moving very well. Oh, so you can't see very well. No. All right. Headlights on, boys. Now, if you saw some headlights, you'd show. You'd show what you got. <laughs> you would, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Wait, wait, well, let's, let's see if we can get somebody to uh, drive up to you there. Where are you? I am actually... On I-5, uh, almost to Linwood. North or southbound? Northbound. And what exit are you near there? 164th. One, uh, exit 164 or 164th yes. Street? 164th Street. On oh, 164th Street in, yeah. in Linwood. Yes. All right, and what kind of car are you in, Dee? Uh, dark green Lexus LS400. Really? Who paid for that? <laughs> Your ex? Probably. Yeah, and it's paid for now, too, Tom. I know. Well, no woman goes in and buys one of those. Oh, shut up. You know that's true. <laughs> Well, if you look good, you don't have to. That, well, of course, that's my point. Jeez. The only women to buy it for themselves are the ones who don't look good. That, that, exactly. Well, the, the Mary Kay Cosmetics representatives, mm -hmm. the um, realtors. Yep. <laughs> realtors who are too homely to put their picture on their business card. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That kind of thing. <laughs> right, so you're in, a, you're in like a forest green, um, which they used to call 90-day green over there at the Lexus dealership. Oh, well, and it's jade black or something like that. Oh, yes. And LS 400. So yes. that, that means it's about four or five years old? Yes. Okay. And, and it's got 18 inch wheels with like bling bling wheels on it. You got bling bling wheels on a Lexus? Yeah. <laughs> That's so ghetto of you, Dick. I know it is. No, they're kind of nice. They have rhinestones on them. Rhinestones? Yeah. A Lexus with rhinestone wheels? Yeah. And you, you do you live in Linwood, D? Is that. Uh... No, I live in Kirkland. Oh, in Kirkland. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just thought it was... Oh! Ah! There you go. <laughs> I knew it. We stayed on the phone. Somebody was driving up to you. Did you show him? No, he went by too fast. Oh. But they're coming. They're looking for you now, Dee. <laughs> oh, now, great. Here come the headlights. Great. Where are you now, Dee? I'm, like, stuck. I, don't even, I haven't even gone very far. So you're still in the same place. 
So what did this guy have to do, like zigzagging out of traffic to get to you? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And he didn't even get flashed. I know. I, it's kind of hard when I'm driving, though. I know. Usually if, if I'm the passenger. I was thinking that one. I didn't say it either. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Never mind. Okay. People think I'm going to miss uh, you know these opportunities. I'm not missing <laughs> them. I'm just not exercising. Oh, I see. That's right. Because it's an election year, and they're out to get us. <laughs> Anyways, Tom, I'm really happy to talk to you. I've always wanted to, and I'm enjoying the sunshine in Seattle right now. I tell you that much. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Cup. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> Bye. Miss D. Cup, everybody. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Wide open telephones. It's Flash Friday. Let's say hello to Jennifer on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Do you care, darling? Yes, I do. I'm doing great. Well, I'm calling because you're always telling for Flash Friday all the girls out there to flash the boys. Well, some girls want to see some breasts, too. Oh, you do? Yes. Are you, uh, are you a lesbian? No. Bye, curious? Um... More than curious. Oh, bye, bye, period. Yes. Wow. So you'd like to be fun. Oh, well, of course, that's true. Uh, what you're saying is true. Anybody's got the headlights on, you should show them what you got. Yes, I just want to tell the girls out there. Now, you show, are you showing what you've got? Of course. Have you seen any headlights yet? Um, Not yet. I'm actually still at work now, but I get off at 5. So okay. I can't All right. wait. All right. Well, we can't wait either, Jeff. But blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. 5800-TOM is our telephone number. Edward on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Hey, Edward. I'm doing okay. Uh, hey, listen, man. I'm from Arkansas. I moved out here a couple of years ago, and I heard your show yesterday. Right. I think you missed an important point, which was, now, I don't know what the standards are for getting the Mother of the Year Award, but everybody was calling in going, oh, I know somebody, and they got 14 kids, and they're on welfare, and these these, you know, my 12 cousins, two of them killed each other. Well, maybe the point is this woman has 14 kids, and she's not on welfare. She's not on food stamps. She's not using government resources. Her and her husband built the house, 7,000-square-foot house, and they're not draining and sucking the taxpayers of their dollars. Well, I still think you're a bad parent if you have 14 or 15 children. Because Why? how much? Because how much attention can you give 14 or 15 people? Look, I know people, all right, my parents or my mom comes from a family of 11. Uh-huh. And all, all my aunts and uncles, all thick as thieves, everybody's super tight. My grandparents still really tight with everybody. How many are in prison? None. None? How many uh, have uh, issues? Now, when you say issues, like mm. we don't have any drunks, we don't have anybody on drugs, nothing. No like drunks, got, no druggies, nothing. I got an uncle They're who's all upstanding driver. citizens, huh? Yeah, I've got an uncle who's a bus driver, that's about it. And that's about it? The, the rest of them unemployed? No, I'm, I'm telling you, my family we all went to college. All my aunts and uncles, they all went to college. Mm -hmm. Community uh, my college. My grandparents were farmers. Yeah. Come on. I'm telling you, my grandparents were farmers. Really? My, my granddad was, and he, he actually grew up with his, for his entire life, his brother. So my grandfather and my great uncle lived together until my uncle died about three years ago, and he was almost 90. All right, I'm out of time here, Clem. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles, 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Flash Friday, everybody. Headlights on. Headlights on, ladies. If you see a guy with the headlights on, you know what to do. Show him your rack, for God's sake. Lenora on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Lenora. Hello. Yes, hello. I'm good. Great. I want to be the first. He cut me off. I didn't cut you off. I'm sitting here waiting for you to say something. Oh. Uh, I you want to smell the coffee, sister. I want to be the first official Southern California flasher of this season. I, I mean, where are you? Uh, I'm on the 405 northbound, pretty much in Hollywood. You're where? The 405 northbound by Hollywood. 405 northbound by, uh, 405 northbound doesn't go through Hollywood. Uh, by the 10. By the ten, boy, yeah. you're not you're not from around here, are you? 
I'm from Seattle. Does that tell you? Uh, oh, no, nah, that's okay. That's the explanation. <laughs> But okay. I live down here now. You live down here now. Okay. Uh, so you're on the 405 near the intersection of the 10. Are you going northbound, you said? Northbound on the 405. All right. So what exit are you at? Uh, what exit's coming up? Santa Monica Boulevard. Santa Monica Boulevard. Santa Monica Boulevard. Boulevard. Okay. You're in West L.A. is where you are. Yeah. Okay. okay. And uh, what kind of car are you in, Lenora? I am in an F-250 Super Duty. It's gray. Gray F-250. Long bed, crew cab. Are you in the? You're, but you're not in the. Uh, you're not in the long bed. You're in the uh, cab. <laughs> Correct. I'm just checking. I mean, you could uh, show a lot more people if you were in the uh, flatbed there. <laughs> Very true. All right, uh, all right. I so could always, I could always sneak out the back window real quick. Can you do that? I can do that. What the hell? Go for it. But I don't know if you'd be able to hear. Oh, oh, your was the phone wired into the truck? Take the phone no. with you. Okay, I'm going. Take it with you. She's going to climb into the flatbed. She's in a gray F-250 Super Duty truck. <laughs> and uh, on the 405 northbound uh, near Santa Monica Boulevard. Boys, if you are in that area, turn your headlights on and see Lenora. Uh, she gets Flash Friday off to a rip-roaring start here. Okay, Tom, we're back. Are you in the flatbed now? All right, look yeah. around. Can you see any headlights back there? I see two sets of headlights. Two sets of headlights. We need more headlights on. Are any of those guys near you? Uh, no, they're a little ways back. They're not. Okay. Uh, what exit are you? Have you passed Santa Monica now? Not yet. Not yet. All right. So you're still creeping along on the 405 northbound. Yep, in the far lane. What is it, the first lane? You mean the passing lane? Of course, in L.A., the passing lane is the far right lane. <laughs> so when people get into the uh, passing lane, they, they slow down or they stop altogether. Oh, over by the barrier. Over by the barrier, meaning over by the... the fast lane. You're, you're in the fast lane. The fast lane. Okay. And uh, so there you are just south of Santa Monica Boulevard in the F-250, and now you're standing in the flatbed, right? So people can see you standing out there. People can see me. And are they looking at you? Uh, I see uh, everyone that had their headlights on is now gone. They're all gone. So there's no headlights on the 405. I have people honking. They're honking at you. Uh, do they have and headlights on? Flashed. You flashed? Yeah. That was the first flash? But see, this guy was going southbound. He's not northbound, so... Well, he doesn't have to be northbound. It doesn't matter which way he's going. Just show him what you got. He still honked and I showed. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. I just hope there's no cops. <laughs> well, so do we. <laughs> we love that. All right, so... Oh, no, they might like it, too. Absolutely. And there you are. You're not even, like, just uh, peeking out of a truck. You are standing right out there in the flatbed of your... Is that your boyfriend, your husband? Who is that driving? Uh, fiancé. Your fiancé. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your fiancé is driving, and you are back in the flatbed by yourself, and you'll show your breast to anybody who drives by. And uh, as long as they got their headlights on. There's a, there's some honking. There we go. <laughs> did you show them, did you show them what you have? Oh yes. Tell, listen to that. <laughs> what do you have by the way? And now I have a semi guy following me. Oh, you got a guy following. Good thing your boyfriend is in the truck driving there. Your fiance. And uh by the way, do you have a nice set of knockers? I do. Yeah, what's your cup size? I have a D. A D cup? 36D. 36D. Correct. Very, are you uh, are you hot? I'm decent. You're decent. I, I consider myself average. Oh, so you're about a five? Mm, five or a six, yeah, probably. Is, is that a Seattle five or an L.A. five? Uh, an L.A. five. You're an L.A. five, so you're more like a Seattle seven. Yeah, I moved away from Seattle about six years ago, so. Uh-huh. So now have you figured out the difference between an L.A. 5 and a Seattle 5? Oh, yeah. Much happier, much perkier. Take care of my body more. Oh, there we go. Less of those uh, scones and lattes and uh, you know, the, the Seattle diet. You know, Altoids, scones. Oh, Seattle, everyone gets depressed. They want to stay home. They don't lattes. Want to get off their butts. Yeah, and there you go. And there you are out in the Southern California sun showing your breasts to strangers. <laughs> how, how the worm has turned. Oh, yes. Amazing. All right, uh, Lenore, where are you located now? Uh, 405 and... 405 to Wilshire. Wilshire. Oh, you're at Wilshire. Okay, you're up to Wilshire Boulevard now, near yeah. the federal building.
Going yep. northbound on the 405. You're in a gray F-250 Super yep. Duty truck. Yep, crew cab. Crew cab. Okay, very nice. All right, Lenora, well, are you going to the valley now? Is that where you're heading? Uh, we're going up to California City. California City? That, 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 that's quite a drive. We're going to go ride some dirt bikes. Oh, that's a good place to do it. That would not, be... not much else going on up in California City, I'll tell you that. Have you ever been there? Yes, I have. It's kind of like a ghost town up there. We go pretty much every holiday. Do you really? Yep. So that's that's how you celebrate uh, that's how you celebrate the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. You go up and ride dirt bikes up in California City. Uh, yeah. Yes. I guess. Okay. Very good. Well, it is it is Good Friday after all. And what better day to start off Flash Friday than good on Good Friday. Friday? It's Great Friday. It's Great Friday because Lenora's noggers are hanging out. <laughs> that's a Great Friday. Tell you what. All right, Lenora. Well, good luck out there on the 405 and uh, northbound at Wilshire in your gray F-250. Look for the guys. Show them what you got. Got them. All right, Lenora. Thank you. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show from Los Angeles at 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephone flash Friday. Crystal on the Tom Likas Show. Happy Flash Friday, Tom. Happy Flash Friday, Crystal. How are you? Do you care, darling? I do care, Tom. I'm doing great. That's good. I just had a quick question for you. Yes. Me and my girlfriend, we were talking, just curious how many females you have slept with. I, I don't know anymore. You don't know? You can't count that high? No. <laughs> so how was it in beautiful California, Tom? A uh, sunny, beautiful day for Flash Friday, I'll tell you that. Wonderful. My, here's my question. I have another question. I thought I you, thought you asked your question. No, I have another one. Uh-huh. Why can't you do Flash Friday all year round? Because it gets dark at 4.30 in the afternoon in most of America uh, when daylight savings time is over. And, oh. and then you wouldn't see what people are flashing. Everybody has their headlights on there. Oh. Um, about the guy who was on a little while ago. Um, what guy? That was arguing you with you about the getting awards for having so many children. Right. I don't think anyone should get awards for having 15 children. That's just too many. I agree with you. I, I think three is the max. After that, it's too many. Three or four, yes. You know, I, think I, was, I was in a family of four. Too many. Really? Too many. Four kids, yeah, too many. Okay, thank you, Tom. I'm here to help, Crystal. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. You think I could have asked her about politics or something? <laughs> I don't think so. Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Good. Um, I listen to your show all the time. And you know what? I have some deep concerns here. I think you could really help me out. All right. Um, I am 34 years old. I have blonde hair and blue eyes, blue green eyes. I'm absolutely stunning. I mean, I take pride in myself. My boyfriend and I have, have had this problem where he was in the hospital last year for about a month and a half because he's, he's a stunt man and he's Canadian. And, um, I seriously think because we have not had sex in 11 months, I kid you not. Now, granted, you would be saying, Father, you know what? Are you with him all the time? Maybe he's cheating on you. He's with me 90% of every day. I don't see where he would find even 10 minutes to cheat on me. But you said he's Canadian. I mean, does he live in Los Angeles? He does. He did. Yes, he does. He lives in Los Angeles. He does? Yes. All right. But he, he is on the road. He's on the road. Um, no, no, actually, no. He Never? Lives, he lives part, part, I would say 70% of the time with me. And he lives in, like, in Sun Valley. Um, but, but I would say we're together all the time. He's a really good-looking guy, and we're like a gorgeous couple. I don't understand. He tells me that he doesn't want to get hurt, and we have, we have a great sex life. When we did have sex, it was awesome. And I mean, so what reason does he give you for not having sex with you? He tells me that um, he doesn't want to get hurt because he feels that, because I was an at the very beginning of our relationship. I was a complete jerk, okay, and I have to admit this. Um but right now, I mean, for the last nine months, I would say that I've been completely devoted to my boyfriend. 
and he just tells me and he would he used to cry in front of me he was like completely devastated and now he's he used to cry in front of you because you were banging other guys um i i cheated on him yes i did in the very beginning yes yeah and he found out yeah he did and then he stopped having sex with you what what's that how how long after that did he stop having sex with you uh, well, we got back together again, and we had, we had sex, and, I mean, you know... I mean, By every day, or once yeah, in a while? Oh, yeah, definitely. All right, and then how long did that last? Oh, not very long. And then it was over? And then he just told me that, uh, I have, uh, I have to pay penance for the things that, that I've done. And, uh, isn't he punishing himself as well? I guess so. Uh-huh. I mean, I, I mean, if, if you saw me, you would say, Jesus Christ, all of his friends tell him. What is wrong with you? You know, to him. They ask him all the time. And I guess I'm just t- asking a guy, a guy's damn uh, point of view here, and especially you because you're very open-minded. I mean, you know. Well, I'm not so open-minded that if you cheated on me, I'd uh, still be uh, uh, devoted you to you. Would you do that? Would I Would I not have sex with you? Would you not have sex with me to make you pay penance for the... Well, no, I, I'd either break up with you or not. Exactly. I mean, I mean, what's I'm, the point of continuing to waste time seeing you? Okay, now listen to this. I'm also coming into a settlement for my child support for about $4 million. That's, not, that's another issue. I feel like because he hasn't been working that maybe he's not... Um, maybe he wants the money. Yeah. And I feel like I don't know what, what the truth is here. You know, I need affection in my, relation, in, 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 in my life. And I've told him many times, what is wrong? Let's go talk to a counselor. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. All right, well, then it's time to break up with him. I guess so. Well, it's that I mean, simple. I know, I know. Because I, and I don't want to break, I don't want to do that because I want to give it, give it my all here. You gave it 11 months. Right. Done. Right. Done. Mm-hmm. Done. Mm-hmm. You got to do it. Mm-hmm. Is that, I mean, this is. I, it's, it's a hard thing. I, mean, I listen to all the people on your show, everybody that calls in, and everybody's got, you know, just like me. I mean, I'm in the same position now to where I'm going, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay, that kind of a, uh, of, of a response. I mean, if I gave you 11 months and, and we had a great sex life and all of a sudden you said no, is it because you don't want to get hurt? Is that the real reason? Is, would that be the real reason? Uh, some people have very strange uh, ways, ways of, of reacting to that. Yeah, but uh, by the way, you cheated on me, I would break up with you. That's what I would do. Well, no, we did break up for about... No, months. but I would stay broken up. You see, once I break up with somebody, that's it. Right. I'm not one of those people who keeps going back together with the same people. If right. I break, if I have that big scene, I say, okay, I'm breaking up with you. Right, right. I've broken up with you. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. What's that? Yeah, and, then it's, and he listens to your show all the time. He goes, listen to this, listen to this. This is you, and this is me. Well, I wouldn't you know? go out sex for 11 months. I know. Maybe uh, you sure he's not getting it somewhere else. Uh, to, to, to teach you, if he's that kind of guy who wants you to do penance, uh, maybe he's trying to teach you a lesson. Maybe he's going out and getting sex somewhere else. It's been it's been my thought. It's been my thought. Um, I went to go kiss him the other night, like you know, just trying to be really nice with him and and cuddle with him and all this stuff, and he started laughing. And I. I go, what is wrong with you? Yeah, and he goes, oh, and that's another thing. He gained 35 pounds, so he feels he's a very anal kind of a guy. All right, there, so there. Uh, this is getting way out of control. Look, okay, go ahead. It, it's done. It's okay. it's done. Okay. You're gonna really move. Appreciate it. You're gonna move on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yep, you're a great guy. Uh, thank you so much. By the way, when you get the four million, give me a call. <laughs> Five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. I know when my dad took the strap to me, I damn well deserved it. Nobody deserves that. You don't think you learned a lesson along the way? You turned out all right, didn't you? Yeah, I'm forty six and I learned not to have kids. That's what I learned. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. The Tom Like His Show. Tom like his show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Anything goes, try me, baby. We don't care what it is. It could be anything. 1-800-5800-866. It's Cat on the Tom Likas show. Well, Tom, it had to happen. I got flashed. You did? 
Yes, in Studio City, but like a, <clears throat> like a sticker on the back of my car, so I figured that what was it, but then they pulled up next to me and saw I was a female, so we all thought that was really funny. Oh, boy. But you didn't mind it, did you? Oh, no, no, no. I feel part of the show now. Look at that. So I just um, thought, you know, since it's uh, celebrating the first day, I thought, you know, an older female listener is part of the crew. I love that. Cat's been listening to me for, what is it, 16 years? It's a long goddamn time. The Tom Likas Show.